podcast. Y'all know what's going on. Yo. You got your boy Trippy Trippy in the building. True. I got my boy next to me. We is getting beat no. What it do, what it do. Y'all know what's going on, man. Big time all the going. You been working, man. Man, working, working. It don't stop. Stop working. Nah, it don't stop. It, 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 hey, it ain't slow gonna it stop. down a little bit. Let it shine. Let it say. We gotta shine. Hey. Let me shine a little bit. Hey, I'm gonna let you shine. You shine <laughs> with me. You shine with me. I fuck with it. <laughs> all right, let, hey, we is getting beat now. Where you from, we? Man, Memphis. Memphis, what part? Man, East. East Memphis. Man, look, you like, know like I, the I, trenches, East Memphis, or just it, like East Memphis when it was going up? Kind of in between. The hash cross area and shit like Hell that. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right down a uh, little Winchester area. So you know what I said, a little like, in between. Yeah, you, you was in between. You was, uh, <laughs> yeah. Did you get like trouble in your childhood? Nah. Ah, shit. I ain't my mom, man. Moms didn't play that. Uh, uh, my mom, yeah. Hey. Man, look. <laughs> Pops and moms and play that. Uh, okay. I try. I tried that shit. So It'll bust me in the damn head. You grew up in a, like two house, a two parent household. Nah, it's kind of. Nah, it was celebrated, but yeah. Pops was there. Type yeah. shit. Okay, yeah. I fuck with it. Pops had anything to do with you, like going into music? Nah, man, that came more from my sister. Like, moms got remarried and everything. Dude that she was with had a studio in the basement. Yeah. So I see my sister go in there, start recording, and I was like, man, that was fun. I was thirteen. So I started writing. I never got a chance to go in there. He was always talk about how I'm gonna get you in. I'm gonna get you in there. Never put me in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been writing since I was 13. Really, just got in the studio maybe two years ago. So, so you were 13. You were writing at 13. Writing at 13. So your, used, did anybody teach you how to write, or you just learned this shit on your own? I really learned on my own because like. I love basically any form of art, and it really started with poetry. You know, okay. I used to, <laughs> I used to write little poems and stuff for people yeah, in school give me and shit. Vibes. Yeah, I look, used to write little glasses <laughs> and shit. All up. Yeah, you give me little poem vibes. You know what I'm saying? Look, I used to write little poems and shit. You used to get in trouble in school passing around. I right, so you were writing the poems to the little joints. Yeah. Oh yeah, you like, hey, let me go on here. Hey, slide this over the hook, man. Never fall for sale, huh? <laughs> <laughs> How old are you, you? Man, twenty-eight. 28. 28. Man, you, man, wait. Seventh grade, we had we had cell phones in seventh grade. Man, flip phones. Hey, man, she, I was, you know what I'm saying? Look, pocket action. Man, look, these folks don't know how, how, how struggle it was. How many buttons you had to press just man. to get one little? Hey, so. and you had to go fast as hell. You know how to type fast as hell with that thumb. Man, I had to. <laughs> Sneak up under the desk real quick. Hold on, teacher ain't going to see this. <laughs> what school, what, what high school you went to? Central, the Central, the high school. Oh, dang, you alive in that hole. My, <laughs> <laughs> we ain't gonna speak on that. <laughs> you went all four years? Yeah, I went all four years. All four and years. It's crazy, uh, still look close with one of the hottest producers that came out of there, though. Who did? It's uh, Hickey. Hickey, you know, shout oh, yeah. out to you. Oh, yeah, I played football with him a few times. Shout out to Hickey, he doing his thing. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got kids and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, two boys. Two. They, uh, Starting to take up on what I'm doing. My youngest, he love making beats. My oldest, he's starting to write now, so I see what How I'm doing. Um, my youngest, he five. Okay. My oldest, he 12. Okay, so okay. It's like they showing off their talents already. Yeah, I know you made a song uh, for your kids. How, what, how, they, how they come about? What made you want to do that? Um, I came up with that one because I wanted my kids to always go back and refer to something, you know, just in case they ever forget, you know, whether it's about people or about life. You know, they seen me go through my ups and my downs. Mm -hmm. And so they, my motivation on why I'm doing my music. Thanks. So it's like if I didn't have my boys, I don't know what I'd be doing right now, honestly. Okay. So they, they we can pretty much say they your motivators. Yep. You know what I'm saying? They're more your motivator. So let's talk about like musical inspirations. Like who you, who you get for like a musical inspiration? Man, we're gonna talk about Dolph on that one. Okay, okay. Like, my first single that I released, it's crazy, I sent it to him the day before he passed. He looked at it, didn't respond, and the next day I get that news. So it's like, damn, it's damn like that. It, it, it fucked me up. Damn. So, so they, 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 like, when, when Dolph died, this shit hit you different. Yeah, so it's like, with my music, I kind of incorporate his style a little bit into my own and mix it up, okay. you know, to try to keep that sound alive, but also have my own sound. Okay. So it's like... I, he taught me through my music how to hustle, how to make it, how to, you know, keep your head up through a struggle. Mm -hmm. You know, be humble, but give back. Don't never be selfish on what you're doing. 
Okay, so let 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 dab into like you talking about like you, you said the first the first one you sent you sent out. So what about your first song you ever written? Your the cert, you wrote it at thirteen, right? Mm-hmm. You remember the lyrics? Man, hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I was so about to make you spit that shit. I'm like, no. yeah, we well, come on, <laughs> give me that shit. Man. So so your first song you released was I, I could say what twenty twenty what twenty twenty one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. First song released. So. You been rapping, but you you just like now start taking it serious. Yeah. Okay. So you see yourself going to another level and yeah. beyond. Okay. My well, I about that shit. I was gonna ask you your favorite artist, but shit. You you <laughs> already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, hey, who your favorite artist? Oh yeah, it's dope. Yeah, so that was, that was a lot of motivation. So do you want to like follow his footsteps when it come down to like, um, like. Creating, creating a label, building your, building your brand by, by itself. No, no signing with people, anything like that. More or less, and giving actual artists, they got a story to tell, opportunity. Okay, so are you, you, are you in here? Are you in here just for like, to, like, are your, is your primary goal to help other artists? Yeah, primary goal is to help other artists okay. and to grow and learn more than what I already know. Okay. All right. You feel like you learned a lot within the day as you? Yeah. Uh, quite a bit. You really just can't put your trust in a whole lot of people, though. Yeah. That's for sure. So you done seen a lot of snakes in the game. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it, would you say it was a struggle, like, on your come up, not, not even just music, just coming up as a, as a youth? Do you feel like you it was a struggle, or do you feel like I, you just kind of – you know, coasted through life, come on, pops didn't let you see it. Um, kind of coasted through up until my high school years. You know, once I had my son, because I had my son, man, ninth grade. God dang. Ninth grade, you right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> he was smacking them cheese early as a motherfucker. God damn. <laughs> ninth grade. So. Fuck the condom. <laughs> <laughs> God so, damn. So I ain't really get a chance to really just enjoy teenage both, years and shit. So. Both of y'all was in ninth grade? Yeah, he, he came out when I was in 10th, but he conceived in ninth grade. So God, God damn. Yeah, so I ain't really get a chance to just enjoy my teen okay. years and none of that. I always learn how to I don't know what the fuck I would have did. I had a child and I would have been so. Man, man look, out. my pops wanted to kill me. Let me tell you. <laughs> I called him, told him. I'll never forget this shit. I called him and said, I want to hear the story. What's going on? What do you do? Say, hey, Pops, uh, got something to tell you. Uh, got a girl pregnant. He ain't say shit, but I'm going to call you back. <laughs> he called me back and said, bring your ass outside. But, I ain't want to go outside. I ain't think I'm going to make it back in. You know what he said, fuck? I'm going to call you back. <laughs> My, he was there five minutes one. Man, less than that. The nigga was working around the corner. That was the, that was the fucked up part about it. So we called me outside, man. Look, I ain't want to go outside because I ain't know if I'm going to make it back in. Mom's already tried to get me to talk saying, you know, what time for you to get a job? And I believe I stand on this because I believe in it. She said, you lay down and make it. You can stand up and take care of it. That's some real shit. Mom, mom do knew something, knew something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so... I've been working since 16, and I got tired of a nine to five, tired of, you know, getting the pennies of a billion dollar company yeah. when you know your worth, you know what you're capable of. Yeah, I, I, I salute that. I'm, I, I just want to give my hand clap for that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, the, reason, the, the reason why, like, when, when, uh, when some, some people get uh, somebody pregnant that young, they become deadbeats and all that, but. You was you was able to you know stay in your child life from ninth grade all the way up. You kept a job, you kept a job so you could take care of your kids. I I can't do nothing but commend you. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate that. You don't you don't hear too many people saying that story, but for you to even come on the platform and give that story, it shows you where where you at. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't gonna lie, there ain't no story I'm telling. I'm, I'm be like, <laughs> man, fuck that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is me. Me and baby moms, you know, me and, I got two different baby moms. No, get along, no arguing. Oh, shit, that, that. that's what's up. You blessed. <laughs> blessed, yeah. daddy. I don't know what. I'm just saying, you know, you know, we have, you know, we bump out here. I ain't going to say it's all perfect, but, you know, it ain't worth going down to no quarterback. I understood. I understood. I can respect that. Let's talk about the last song you released. Uh, it's really a whole EP I released. 
Okay, so let's talk about it. It's uh, called Words of Wisdom. Okay. You know, play on words with the wisdom, W-I-Z. Okay. Hey, so it's kind of a story going through that tape. Yeah. It started off really with a song from my boys and how I came about trust issues, mm -hmm. uh, people stabbing me in the back. So it's really just me giving out advice to those who really trying to break in here. You know, what to look for. You know, your circle going to change. Mm -hmm. You're going to see who there for you, who not there for you. Perfect. You know, keep your motivation going. Right. You know, let them know that you care. Show them that you care, which is why my very first song on there is Letters to My Son. It's okay. the first song you're going to hear mm -hmm. from my boys. So it, would, you, would you push that one as a single, or would it be something else at, off the tape that you would push as a single? Uh, I'm pushing Savage. Mainly okay. off the single, okay. off the uh, EP. Yeah. That's, uh, that one right there. How many songs you got on the EP? It's a little short EP. It's uh, six songs six on there. Songs. I'm working on deluxe. Yeah, yeah, have that out by the end of the year. Me, fine. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> but, you Each know. song worth listening to. Though, I can tell you that much. So when you when you uh, were working working on the EP, what? How long did it take you to work on that EP? Move it around. Uh, it really didn't take long. The reason why it took a little longer than expected is because I ran across health issues, mm -hmm. you know, felt like the enemy trying to keep me down. Oh, but yeah. it's crazy thing, like I had one incident, I ended up going to the hospital, mm -hmm. came out that same day, went to the studio and recorded two songs because okay. I wanted to get this EP done. So is the, the studio is like your, uh, like a, a, a stress reliever to you? Yeah, it's, it's more like a stress reliever, I feel at home. And the time I'm in front of a mic, grab a mic, it's like nothing else matter, like nothing yeah. else bothering me. It's yeah, like it. I'm letting out everything. How often you go to the studio? Uh, I try to go every two weeks okay. or push come and shove once a month. Mm -hmm. I normally get two, maybe three songs done in one session. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. So when you when you write, like, do you write every day or you write every other day? How how did writing go? Um. I typically write one week. Uh, it normally take me about a day to write a whole song. Mm -hmm. So I write it, revise it that whole week, rehearse it the next week, and then go to the studio the same week I rehearsed it. Okay. Do you find yourself running into writer block? Uh, from time to time, but it's not hard for me to get over it because it's like any time I run the writer's block, something happened to give me give me ammunition mm -hmm. to put into this song. Cause I'm like. Say for example, and I don't give a fuck if she see it. My ex hit me with some bullshit before. <laughs> I said, How you, you know what? I got something you? for your motherfucking ass. <laughs> Put this shit here. You finna hear about this motherfucker. <laughs> Sick of this shit. Hey, because I, 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 I learned like when, when I write and I had a writer's block, I open a dictionary and just pick out one fucking word to base it around. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like this, this kind of how I operate through. Um, how I feel, or I might just hear a motherfucking word that I never heard before and be like, oh shit, I can use that motherfucking word. That, like, yeah, let's use that bitch. Yo, <laughs> my bad, I had to turn up one time. <laughs> I be excited when I be writing though, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, especially when you when you got it going and it's like you can't stop, you can't stop then. It's that one part yeah, where you're like, damn, I, hold I up. Feel, <laughs> because like when you start on a song, you be like, okay, I'm gonna write some of this shit today and then my, I'm gonna, I like, Shit, I finished that whole, but you can't even stop. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's like everything just hitting you at once. Yeah. It's just like you just want to take everything you done dealt with and just throw it right there. Especially when it's going through your mind and shit. Like, you go, you're going through some shit, like, uh, in your brain, you're like, ah, damn, like, my fuck this bitch. You know what I'm saying? And then start yeah. writing, and you're like, okay, I'm going to finish later. And you like, fuck that. Now nah, I got some more shit. To yeah. Say. <laughs> yeah. So man, without further ado, man, we we talked about your music and all this. I got I got I got to know what's your video of the week. Um, uh, we gonna go with Savage. Savage, hey man, this I'm gonna let you introduce it. You know it's what your I'm boy Wiz Gambino featuring Lil Savage. Boo! Let's get it. Cabbage. Nah. Drop
drop it on the nigga like she worth that magic Niggas chasing P like she in the valley Damn, I know she got it, damn, a little savage Classy little bougie, but she can't get ratchet Throwing that, but she still keep up her status Throwing that, but she still keep up her status Yeah, you know she got it, damn, a little savage Bitch, come check out the crib, yeah, it's so immaculate Diamonds jumping out the gym, straight gymnastics Pockets on fear, belly when we gas in Balenciaga's to the four in the four and slide through traffic Then that ass fat, she let a nigga smash it Live on the track so you know I had to pass it Sleeping on me too long, C4 to the mattress Blowing these niggas out the water, goddamn Titanic Swimming in the money, nigga, watch me lap it I were broke before, now a nigga stack it Gotta keep some in me for the hate they had it From a city raised up, filled with number savages Walking in the bank, leave with extra baggage Had a dream, then I turned it to reality Why you met my feet up laughing, ball status The word is mine, what my nigga, man, you thought you had it On the prowl, looking for a bitch to match it Classy little bougie, but she can't get ratchet Throwing ass, but she still keep up her status Yeah, you know she got it, damn, a little sad Damn, I'm rocking on this bitch, I had to get it done On the money coming in, it's never in it Had a stomp on them, take off like a rocket to the moon I had a launch on them, why the fuck they talking in my green, it just keep coming I've been looking back in my life, been amazing, yeah Shotty in my phone, but you know she never phasing, man Making money moves, yeah, my brain is steady craving it Tomato, drinking up a scotto, straight up at the bottom, living right I don't give a fuck about tomorrow, gotta keep it going, fuck a gun, I fight They be trapping, but money not lavish, living like a savage Stop the cabin, fly just like a maverick, had to make it happen You know that I'm coming through and making hella moves And if they speak and false up on your name, you gotta bring the truth And my old friends, we used to be tight, but I done let it loose And if they trying to stop your come up, then you gotta tell them move I, I, I don't give a fuck if they talking, they talking on me, yeah But you know my guy God will guide me so you know I'm never scared Soon enough they'll know my name and I will be more than aware All the people who never had faith in me and never you cared You know I'm savage yeah. On the prowl looking for a bitch to match it yeah. Classy little bougie but she can't get ratchet Rich. Throwing ass but she still keep up her status Yeah, yeah. you know she yeah. got it Damn, yeah. a little savage yeah. 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 Classy little bougie but she can't get ratchet Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> My, yeah, my, the one thing that uh, stood out, my, the cover art, it's like, who did this, man? Man, it's another member on the team, Ryan Lotus. Okay, Appreciate shout out him. to him, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to him, though. Yes, sir. Mine. So, she, it was, I, I ain't gonna lie, I heard Savage, I'm thinking, I was thinking of some other shit, but it, it was primarily about, like, she talking about female type shit. Basically. Yeah, so I, I ain't expected that the song, so she, walk me through the... Emotions of the song, which which you which you which so going? basically how that song came about. I was like, man, I want to make a club banger. But I'm like, wanted wanted to put it about a female though, but I don't even put it to where it's kind of disrespectful. Mm -hmm. But that's why I'm like, welcome though. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> and so I ran across a partner. You know, my manager introduced me to somebody else. Uh, he go by Lev. Okay. And I heard his sound. I was like. Cause like that's when writer's block came in. I had the first verse done, I had the hook done. I was like, he gonna fit on this. Uh, yeah, yeah. And so I sent it to him. He was like, how long How long should I go? He was asking me, you know, where should I uh, put it? What, what am I talking about? I said, man, just go. And he went, he didn't even know the song was called Savage. He threw something in there about a savage and then got it, sent it back to me, got it mixed, sent it to him. It, he, he, he went off on that. Oh yeah, hey, I was allow, like. Allow, yeah, we got him in the room, come here, come on, come here. Come here, man. Look, cause I, I, this the this the feature artist on this joint. What's going on? <laughs> like, <laughs> like it was it was wild it was wild as hell. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. Like, all right. So it, mind we go through the process. Your verse. So some of the lyrics are: I've been looking back and my life been amazing. Shawty hit my phone, but you know she never phasing me. It's kind of like you know looking back, like that shit was. Cause I had a relationship that I was put in there. I don't even know what the song was about, but I happened to coincidentally put it in there. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it ended up all coming together. But 
you know, my relationship, it was not nice. Ah, yeah, because you were going through a struggle. Because you, yeah, yeah, I saw, I saw your was. vocals going. It was, also. you know, young relationships, and you try to take it seriously, it takes a big toll on you, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't put that much motive, not motivation, but dedication yeah. into something that young, you know what I mean? For sure, yeah. you showing line That's kind of what the song's about, you know, that's just a little taste of Why, why go through the motion of, like, uh, you know, working with Weez? So I actually started working with Renee. She picked me up at a show, actually. And um, okay, shout out to Renee. Renee's rhythm. Shout out to you know what I'm saying? I, yo, Renee's rhythm. Y'all, if y'all, if y'all need management, she got you. But uh, yeah, I met Wiz and we connected right away. You know, like we got to work and we work and that's going. We are gonna keep on making music together. Yeah. Keep yeah. heat, you know what I mean? The one thing I learned about like music was creating a relationship, being a relationship. You, you can, do you feel like y'all relationship was uh like after this song was done, y'all feel like y'all relationship got stronger from there? For sure, I felt like it did. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely. When you when you put that work and you cause you can put that shit on any time you in the car, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can listen oh, yeah. to it whenever and it's something you can always bump. Yeah. But, yeah. I and I always I always say this, I always say like a feature can make or break a song. You know what I'm saying? Like oh, yeah. a feature, if that person ain't on on the on that motherfucker to elevate the song, what's the point of them being on it? There like, you go. Like, I can't put you on a feature and, and shit. You you can't offer nothing to the that, song. That's why I say that's the deluxe version. Look out for it, cause you know me and him got a couple more on now. Y'all ain't yeah. thinking about dropping no tape? I mean, it's in the works. Okay. Yeah. yeah. See, I love that. Both of y'all along here when y'all drop y'all first tape. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, definitely. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can go and guarantee that yeah. now. You can go and guarantee that now. All right. So, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I guess I'm trying to walk through this song because it's like, okay, I'm a, like, so you had savage ways, like, because we know you and your baby oh, yeah. mamas get to, get, yeah. you know, y'all good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I mean, like I said, I have my savage ways. Like, I will go to yeah. this humble, nice person that you met to I don't give a fuck how you feel in a heartbeat. That's what I'm saying. Like, if you cross me, bullshit with me, lie to me, that's that bullshit that you get from me. Okay. Oh, uh, studio. What, what, what studio? Y'all? Man, I actually go to my partner, Young Nick. He another artist. You know, he did all the mix and master and all of that. Shout out to Young Nick. <laughs> Big shout Yo, out. Big shout, shout out. out to him. Because he, he, mixed, he mixed that John did, oh, did, yeah. did his thing. Because like I said, the... The vocal, the vocals, like you always had that mellow tone. You know, I done listen to plenty of your song. You got the mellow tone. You know me, I'm gonna turn you up every time. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So I, I, I fuck with your sound. But so you, for you to have a different dynamic on that song, uh, <laughs> like a, a kind of hyper. I'm like, okay. And then so I can see why you pushing it as a single. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. so what, what, what way, what ways are you, um, what ways do you feel like you can push it more as a single? Like push it more out there. Uh, get it on the station mainly. Okay. Because you know, streams for it so far is uh fourteen thousand. That's on Spotify, okay. Apple. Okay. Shout out, um, yay, so, yay! Know, Them numbers up there, y'all you know saying? <laughs> Big numbers in the building. That's why I'm like, once it hit the station, it's over with. Okay. So what would you think? Uh, what would you say the downside to like rap is? Like you rapping, what's the downside to it? Mm, I don't even really see a downside with me rapping. For real? I don't, cause yeah. I don't. One thing I can say is because I don't, I don't rap about catching a body, catching a charge. You know, yeah. All of that bullshit. You know the basic sound that you're hearing coming from Memphis. You know, I'm trying to get something a little different. Okay. Yeah. Cause the reason why I ask, cause I I know my downside would be like. Uh, the money part, part of it. You know what I'm saying? Marketing yeah. and money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that 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 would be one of my problems is the marketing. You know, but it's all it's all coming together. You know, so it's getting better. Okay. And you know, I'm getting more views, more uh, listens, and so apparently, you know, I'm doing something right. My manager, she's doing her part. Mm -hmm. She's doing some right. And <laughs> look, I'm just sitting back, humble. I'm chilling, and I'm keep doing what I'm doing. My, hey, that's a blessing. All right, we gonna talk about. We know we, we. I know you wanna elevate to like being your own brand, but if if a label can't need you, what you saying? No, because I feel like I lose who I am, what I done, what I done worked for. Why would I take a five hundred dollar that well five hundred thousand dollar advance, mm -hmm. work my ass off, and barely see anything back from it, knowing I gotta owe that, pay that shit back. That's putting me in debt. I'm losing my ownership to my name, my creating, mm -hmm. all of that shit. No, I'd rather be my own man, hustle my way up from the bottom, 
to get to the top, to be able to keep who I am, keep my name, yeah. keep my work. Yeah. Okay, okay, I fuck with it. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with it. Yeah, we. Uh, I seen y'all. I seen. I seen you had a performance at High Town. Let's, yeah. let's walk walk us through through that. Uh, that would be my second time performing there. I had one last year. Uh, I want to say it was December first. That was my first time ever stepping on the stage. Really. Okay. Nervous. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a little nervous. Cause I'm like, I never performed in front of nobody. But the moment I grabbed that mic, it's like, oh, that went away. Cause mm -hmm. I saw how the crowd was reacting to my music. Okay. So I'm like, as long as that crowd interaction is there, mm -hmm. and they feeling your music, you always got something you can work with and work towards. So you feel like you get a little bit more energy on stage than you do in the booth? Yeah, honestly. Like, yeah, okay, I, I, I fuck with that. I gotta act, cause man, that should be. That should yeah, be because it's like, once you hit the stage, you in front of people. Mm -hmm. So it's like, however you feeling, or whatever you've been dealing with, take that bullshit and put it into your music, take the energy, put it into that mic, and mm -hmm. let that shit go. And that's what I normally do. Mm -hmm. So it's like if, and it never fails, it's like some bullshit always happen right before I jump <laughs> on the damn stage. And I'm like, you know what? <laughs> to prevent from myself from seeing them, them beautiful ass silver bracelets, let me go ahead and put this shit into this damn mic. <laughs> <laughs> they big, they big and beautiful too, ain't it? Man, look. <laughs> 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 you ain't nothing beautiful about <laughs> so I'm like, this first thing that hit in the back of my mind, I'm like, I can't go to jail. I got too much I'm working towards. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta keep on pushing and motivate yourself to be better. <coughs> Talk about your first time in the studio. So, um, <coughs> I fucked up a couple times. It's like. Cause like I used to use this app on my phone called Band Lab, and I used okay. to record on that motherfucker. And so once I got in the actual studio, it's like I knew what I was doing, but I didn't know what I was doing. And so once he was telling me, you know, speak up a little bit, or you know, say this part, say that part, you know, plug in here, plug in there. You don't have to spit the whole thing. Mm -hmm. You know, we gonna plug in. So I was learning as I was going each time I was learning. So it's like now. I can go in there, two, three songs, squeeze this shit in, and get it done within two hours. So the first time you hit the studio, you can you say the mic was intimidating? I wouldn't say intimidating. Okay. I would more say I didn't know what the fuck I was gonna do with yeah. that motherfucker. It, it, Cause it's it, like it, it's different, different hearing your voice too. Yeah, it's different yeah. from hearing my voice and trying to find my sound mm -hmm. versus just sitting your phone down, got the beat playing, and you just spitting. Mm -hmm. So once you got the headset on, you're hearing your voice, and you say what you th think you sound like in your head, and you actually hear the difference. I'm like, what the fuck? That ain't what I want. <laughs> Hold on. <Yeah. laughs> so it's like you got to go back and do it again. You instantly hear it, too. It's like, it ain't yeah. no, it ain't no uh, you know what I'm saying? You hear it as soon as, soon as it hits you, you be like, oh, shit, nah, stop that. Let me do right. It you're like, Hold on. Run that shit back. Yeah, I, 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 <laughs> so I, it's I, like, I, that's I, why I take the one week to rehearse. How I'ma sound on this song before I go to the studio? That's what's up. So you, so you, re you always rehearse before you. you I always rehearse. Like I don't care if it's before a show, before I go to the studio. Mm -hmm. I always rehearse a song because I want it to sound how I hear it in my head. Do you practice on uh, performing at home? I should, but I, I don't. Okay. Because I feel like once I hit the stage, it comes to me natural. Mm -hmm. Like I feel at home. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it's like adrenaline get the rush. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So, so it's like I ain't the dancing type of motherfucker. So it's like once I once I interact with the crowd and I'm hearing you spitting my balls back to me, I, I know you feel my music. Yeah, you know I'm on stage twerking my stomach all the time. Man, look, them knees gonna catch up to your motherfucking ass. <laughs> I, I, he's talking about me dipping on you, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, shout out, hey, shout out to Weez, cause man, he been he been rocking with me since the day we met. Shout out to Renee's rhythm. She, the, you know what I'm saying. She helped me. Uh, Get them, you know what I'm saying? I'll say this. Yeah, back, back, back to you, Weezy. Stop it, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. All right, so you got your heads, bro. <laughs> <laughs> what made you start growing your hair, bro? Man. <laughs> I asked the weirdest question. I used to, man, <laughs> to be real with you, it's because I felt like I ain't had that fucking freedom when I was in, in school, because, like, moms always take me and get my goddamn haircut, and I'm like, I want to grow my shit out. Ma, I do what going Yeah, for. she wasn't going for it, so she used to keep this fade on me, so I'm like, you know what, let me try different hairstyles while I'm getting haircuts. I done went to the Mohawk, 
I done had the bullshit where you had your leader front and it was curled up and shit and they had the rest of it cut off. I done had a lot of bullshit at the haircuts. So like once I got out of high school, I just said, fuck this. I'm finna do what I wanna do. He said, grew my hair out. He said, fuck, I'm just gonna dread it up. Yeah, and then she started tripping about that. So I'm like, she was like, go and cut your hair. Man, four years into it, I cut the shit and I'm like, nah, I ain't cutting this shit no more. So this is my second go around. I she, said, fuck that. She still be on your ass, man. Uh, not no more. I wish the hell she would. <laughs> I love you, mama. But Shout, no. out Paul, <laughs> Shout out, Paul Duke. Shout out, Paul Duke. Quit playing. Mama don't, hey, mama don't tell me to cut my hair no more. Man, look. <laughs> now, now she be trying to be on me about uh, how my boy, how to cut my boy's hair. I'm like, man, look, they, I'm their daddy. I'm their damn dad. If this one want a hot top, he going to get a hot top. If he want a fade, he going to get a fade. Yeah, God damn it. My, hey, grandma, quit playing with grandma like that. Grandma be all right at the end of the day. <laughs> Mine, with that being said, I need to know your top five. I'm a, I'm, I, I, I like doing a R and B and rap thing, so I want to. I want five, top five R and B and top five hip hop. So, you know what I'm saying? We gonna start start with like hip hop all time, dead or alive. It don't even matter. All right, so you know Dolph there. Okay. We got K Camp. We got okay. Kevin Gates. Uh, let's see, Wiz Khalifa. I think you booed him there. And then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he tried to he tried to navigate through this. <laughs> yeah, I know, we know what's going on. Them <laughs> yeah. And I say Boosie for the last one. Okay. That's a solid head list. K Camp being on that junk. K Camp. I got like that's a That's a versatile that, yeah, ass motherfucker right there. I'm tell you, he slip on like a motherfucker. Man. You know what I'm saying? Like it's amazing how slip on he is. Alright, R and B, who you got? Oh, we're gonna go with a bunt first. Hey, that nigga hard. Hey, I'm kinda old school when it comes to R and B now. I ain't even got it. You got a bunt, <laughs> Charlie Wilson. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, y'all heard that, man? That man. Uh, Charlie, last name Wilson. Yeah, you hear me? <laughs> you got Ronald Isley. Uh, I got Black Street. <laughs> you said Black, Black Street. Black Street. <laughs> Then <laughs> he, he riding in the car, didn't he? Man, he look, mad at the <laughs> he mad at the bitch. Look, what he said, run out. Oh yeah, you mad at the you more? Probably, you probably from that man. I know about this one right here, but last one we gonna go with Bobby Womack. Oh, that man right there different. <laughs> you hear me? Hey, hey, that's some real ones right there. I'm just saying, this new R and B ain't what it used to be. I'm just man. saying. Damn, you ain't even say no bad from the new. I my, give them that credit, but they ain't fucking with the old school. Yeah, but my Ronald's my Ronald that Ronald that nigga. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey. So you cheating right now? It's, and he gonna drop a whole song about your motherfucking <laughs> ass and put it in detail about the shit you did. <laughs> you gonna Story be riding? Telling. In, you gonna be riding in the car like, damn, that bitch did you dirty as hell? I would have went across the shit. <laughs> you know something? I ain't never heard nobody say Black Street. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Just saying. It, hey, when Don't I say they versa, there you go. Versatile yeah. with it too. You got the, uh, what's that, no diggity? That one of my jumps right there. Ah, yeah, that mine going back. <laughs> 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 Storytelling at its finest. You know what I'm saying? With all that being said, I got one more question for you. Can you speak? Find out. <laughs> yeah, I like that. That was the fuck you talking about. Let's go. Let the motherfucking beat. Look, I don't supposed to do this shit, my nigga dropping back to back Mama told me when you make your move, make sure you watch your back Cause the snakes and slamming hoes is always waiting to attack A lot of y'all went fucking with me even before I made a track Now you wanna be in the circle and I ain't even seen a rat My day gon' come in the day that you wish that you didn't do that I was told to change the flow, even change up how I rap Put an image behind that pain and serve them up, no holding back Done with that humble shit, my nigga, and I ain't going back Enemy see you take advantage, gotta go and handle that Blew through 10 racks a year ago, wonder how I managed that Saw my guard, they let them wonder how that nigga still standing See my share of fade, look now all these hoes on their panties Niggas hear I'm on the way and start they rumors in the panic Sliding on the e-way, doing the dash in and out of traps Praying up to God, hoping that these demons don't kiss Hella money on my mind, diamonds dancing in the light Never forgot the day when grandma told my future was looking bright Shout out to the ones who left a nigga even when I was right Now you see me in the public 
dick and you try to be polite Baby mama steady tripping cause a nigga finally chillin' Get up out your feelin', baby, go get you some fucking business Fall get bitch behind it, would but still see the hate clearly Tried to tell you one before, they keep that face shit from living Show you how it started and I can show you how it in In the city where I'm from, we always known to get it in A grilly behind that mic, a champion without the ring A beast off up in these sheets, different freaks, different weeks Yeah, this gas got me geek, yeah, it's nothing but the best though One day you'll see me smoking with Snoop on the west coast Niggas got a lot to say, but say it with your chest though All my old hoes, I'm wishing nothing but the best though One thing you can't see the most is what's gonna get you killed I gave enough for that shit, now my empire's starting to build Heat advisory in the booth but the words give them chills Hey, wish shit the fuck out You got these niggas in they feels I found myself, my boy niggas still Wonder where I'm at Never speak on your next move That's that shit that get your whack Double up on your hustle, pussy nigga And run it back Double up on your hustle, pussy nigga And run it back Find me on Instagram, WGambino underscore Twitter, Wiz Gambino official Facebook, Wiz Gambino Music, every platform You name it, type the name, you'll find me It's Kenny Spin, Memphis is a hot new music platform